The complete one hour training guide for the Canon EOS digital SLR camera is available to download now in high definition from learncamera.com. The digital memory card has replaced the role of film. In the same way your computer has replaced the darkroom. The subject of photo management and photo editing are detailed enough to be training series in their own right, but I want to touch on the basics as part of a beginner's guide. There are many different applications out there that offer similar functionality. They range in cost from free to extremely expensive. I've chosen Google Picasa primarily because it's available for the PC and Mac, and secondly because it's completely free. No catches, Google are pretty great at producing free productivity tools for people, and Picasa is no exception. I'm going to assume some level of understanding and demonstrate under the assumption that you have Picasa installed. To import photographs from your camera, connect the supplied USB cable to both the camera and computer. From within Picasa, select Import. The computer should be able to populate the screen with the thumbnails from your camera. By default, all images are tagged for import. On the right side of the screen, you are able to exclude or re-include for import. Once you've selected the images you wish to import, you need to specify where you want the pictures to be stored. By default, we can import to My Pictures and then provide a folder name. Alternatively, I prefer to use folders based on the date they were taken. Finally, we can either leave the contents on the card, or delete the imported, or delete everything. Personally, I choose to leave the card alone, and once I'm happy and the card is safely back in the camera, I usually reformat it from the Camera Preferences menu. Picasa has a wealth of features, and for me it is the best entry-level photo management application to get you going. 